Tell me what I get my praise on. Well, hey, what's up? Get my praise this on. is another Get Your Praise on Monday with Kelly Chapman, and I'm really, really thankful and excited on. that you're here to spend another Monday morning Excuse with me, me giving praise, praise and honor to the Lord. You know He's worthy. No matter what you're going through today, you know He's worthy. He woke you up this morning. He woke you up in your right mind, and He's going to set you on your way today. So just purpose in your heart today to give him thanks and give him praise and press through whatever it is and know that when you praise him it's going to make it so much easier because he loves it when we praise him we're going to start off with the word we're going to read psalm 111 praise the lord i will extol the lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused the wonders to be rem his wonders to be remembered. Let's say that again. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and uprighteousness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you eternal praise today. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy of the glory. Be blessing and glory and honor and power to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I love that psalm. Uh, the Lord just took me to that this morning and uh, just a blessing because it just is a reminder of how faithful the Lord is and how he can do signs and wonders. Just when you're in the middle of something and you think, gosh, there's no way out. What's going to happen? What, Lord, can you help? And he actually can and he will. So with that, I'm going to read a praise report that we got. You may remember a friend of ours named Kevin. Well, Kevin had been talking about a journey that he was going to make to Pakistan, and he's followed up to give us all the praise reports. So let's read it here. It says, Hi Kelly, I'm back from Pakistan. What an amazing experience. It's impossible to describe everything in words and pictures. The most important thing is that many hundreds received salvation through faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior at the many meetings I spoke at. Let's just stop for a minute and give God glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know the heavens rejoice. Ooh, hallelujah. People had never heard the gospel before. People were also constantly coming for prayer, for healing, and several reported back with doctor's reports that they were healed from things such as diabetes, paralysis, and tumors in Jesus' name. Wow. Blessings in Jesus' name. Kevin. That is so awesome. Kevin was um, making plans to go. And, you know, Pakistan, as many of you know, is not a very safe place. And, in fact, not only is it not a safe place, but there's been some um, disasters there recently. So it's just a real difficult, difficult place to go. And Kevin, being faithful and, and knowing the God that he serves, he went there in faith, knowing that in the midst of that uh, in, the, in the midst of the trials and the tribulations and the struggles that he might even have delivering the gospel, he went in faith. And he said, not one, but he said hundreds received salvation. And not only did they receive salvation, but again, the Lord did signs and wonders and people were healed of many diseases. <laughs> the same miracles that were happening back in the day still happen in the day. All you have to do is trust and believe and know that God will do it. 
So I'm excited. Kevin, thank you so much for just staying in touch with us and keeping us posted on your ministry. It encourages me as I plan to continue to go, go all over the world. And I believe that uh, Africa is where I'm supposed to go. So I'm looking forward to getting back there sometime. So with that, don't forget, everyone, to send your praise reports. It doesn't have to be anything long. It can just be, you know, what's going on, what has God done in your life recently, or just in general. Just go ahead and share, because on Mondays, we just want to look back and just say, or look up and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And just get into our week with praise. Send it to fan at kellychapman.net. Again, that's F-A-N at kellychapman.net. And if I read it on the air, I will send you a free copy of my MP3, Excuse Me While I Get My Praise On. So I look forward to seeing you. Same time, same place. Get on.